Hey Russell and Dorothy, it's Pastor DJ here. Give you a quick tip on mid irons. Oftentimes people nowadays are going to escape wedges and um, these hybrid irons and it's it's okay, whatever works for you. I tend to like my five, my fours, my, my threes, um, the sixes. I, I, I like those mid irons, I've always grown up playing them. One of the things that most people forget is the visualization. You have to visualize. Lots of times people get scared of their irons, their mid irons, and they get afraid or think that they gotta hit them harder or swing them faster. It's all the same. You wanna visualize first. You wanna look at your ball and think about where it is that you want it to go. Once you've picked a point out there, you wanna make sure that you get it lined up and all the fundamentals of everything that's out there. One of the things that people forget about with their mid to long irons is they think that if they hit it harder, that it'll go further. And it's actually the opposite. I was taught by a coach once that said, when it's breezy, swing easy. Well, like Ernie Els, the big easy, if you notice, he's consistently swinging nice and smooth and easy, whether it's his pitching wedge, his seven iron, his two iron, his driver. It's consistently smooth, and easy. Once you have your visualization of where you want it to go and you're addressed, one thing I like to tell people, it's a quick little tip, is pretend like somebody has a bar stool right behind you and you're about to sit down on that bar stool keeping your proper address. Now your mid irons not wanting to be played too far back in your stance and not too far forward. The further you play a ball in your stance, the lower it stays in trajectory. The further back it is, the higher and faster it will go in trajectory. Usually with your mid uh, to low irons, you're wanting the distance between your fives, your fours, and your threes, depending on your second or, or third shot, whether it be a par four or par five. I like to tell people though to treat all of your swings the same whether it's your pitch and wedge, your five iron, your two iron, your hybrid. Once you've addressed it and you've picked your point where you want it to be, it's nice and easy Japanesey. So it doesn't matter how hard you hit it. It's how consistently smooth and easy the swing is. So remember, it's not about how hard you hit it, not how about how fast you hit it, but consistently smooth and easy, Japanesey. And that was for you, Russell. We love you guys. Back to you guys. Remember, keep it in the fairways and greens.